Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Evelyn's 3D Shop. On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use my latest product, Hangbird Mini Game. This asset, you can buy it either in Epic Games Marketplace or in Gumroad. I'm going to drop the link below of my website where you can find the links for these two sites. So on this video, I'm going to show you first how to implement this product onto your new product and how to customize the words. As you can see, for migration, I have the link in the user manual, the Unreal Engine website. So after bringing it into your project, please remember to make sure that you have included in the level blueprint this coding right here in case you don't want to use the maps that comes with these games by the way you're going to be hearing perhaps a little bit of noise in the background because it's raining and um, something that you should consider when using this product is that for the moment this product needs to work on its own level or to be applied on a level that can restart each time without any issues because whenever you click the restart button what happens is that the level closes and opens again all right so after making sure that you have in the level blueprint the coding right here this coding we're going to go to the game templates if you have seen the previous videos I have already explained that this product contains two game templates this is the first one which by default the project opens on this map on the first game template map and we have the second template and as you can see the only difference that we have here is that the second template brings a combo box this is where the player can change which of the characters will appear here. As I said before in the previous video, in the overview, that by default, the game template zero 01 brings G here, which is one of the birds, the female bird, comes by default in here. While in the game template zero 02, the user can change from G here to so on on play. Okay. So, because both templates contain the same elements, they work exactly the same, the only difference is this right here, the ability to be able to change in-game, as, as in using the, the game playing it, you can change the character before clicking on the start button. So I'm going to use the game template 02 to explain how you can add your own words as a user who has a bot this product okay so we go here this is the event graph and we're going to quickly see the game events that affect this product so we have here in the event construct which is called the game setup where all of the events the, the most important events and the most important variables run when the game just begins then we have here the events for the options if you would like to change any options from the ones that we have here so you can see here in the name this one's for start the second one is for next third for clue and fourth for quit and if you like to make any changes or if you would like to add more options in here this is the place where you will you will have to make another event and include it right here and you can see here are the events for all the option buttons right here okay you can see here in the game setup if you go to the end this variable called hang bird image progress this is the variable in charge to 
as the name says, what is the progress of the hangment of the player when playing? The player has 10 opportunities to click the incorrect alphabet. After those 10, the game is over. I'm going to show you, in case that you would like to add your own pictures, I will show you where you can make that change. I'm also going to show you in later videos how to increase the amount of clues. For example, right now the product allows the player to have three clues. After the third, the button is disabled. And uh, what else you can customize? Ah, something that I would like to show you as well. If you would like to customize the buttons right here, you can do so if you go to the function name alphabet buttons array and style and the options buttons style as well okay let's continue now we're going to go right here in words setup we're going to double click this is where the events for the words are so we start from word 01 up to word 10. This product by default allows the user to add 10 words from 6 letters to 8 letters. If the user would like to add more than 10 words or add words that have uh, 5 letters for example or have more than 8 letters, I'm going to also show you that in the next video. Now we're going to go to the first word and basically what the user has to do to be able to customize this. You can see here for each event I already added the length of the word. For example in here accepts six letter words, in here seven letter words, in here eight, here seven again and so on. But if you would like to change in case that you want in word 01 to have 8 letters instead of 6, you can also change that. The way you're going to change it is in right here. So in here, the amount of letters for clues, you will have to change that by default because this is a 6 letter word, it has 6 here. So you will have to change that to 7 letters in case that you would like to add a word that has 7 letters. In here you will also have to add it to 7 letters. As default you see, it's also 6, because it says the amount of letters, it means the amount of letters of the word. Right here, we have uh, this word active, and if you would like to change it to another word, like for example, button, that is a 6 letter word, we will make the change here. These variables are located in the category called alphabet right here all of this information that i'm showing you on this video you can also find it in the user manual okay so we're going to quickly change that this letter active to the letter button we go here substitute it and now we're going to look for the u now we're going to add the other t from the word button, the O, and last the N, and there it is, button. Now we're going to delete this word right here, and we only have to copy paste just to make it more easily and connect it. connect all the variables in here perfect we continue going to the right side and in here the amount of letters in words it's also six in here by default but if you are changing it to a seven letter word you will have to change this in here in case that the letter that you are adding has like in here our example button has a double letter which is the T you will have to include it in here 
as you can see here it says set double triple letters so it has to connect two double letters and to connect two triple letters like for example there are words that contain like in here this word letters it has two double letters e and t so if you're adding this word letters onto the game you will put in here the letter e which is the first double letter and then the t which is the second double letter in our case button it only has the t as a double letter so we will have to connect it in here please remember that if you are using a word that is not double letter all the connections for this has to be an a not applicable you have to remember this for the game to work properly and this variable na you can find it right here in guess letters this is not in the alphabet but in the guess letters category here it is na then as our word contains double letter we have to click yes in here to check it great we continue going and in here shows invisible letters this is what you tell the game how many letters you want the game to show when it begins to the player so in here if you click it has three options two three and four so to show only two letters three letters or four letters because this is a six letter word we're going to leave it at two okay and then that's it that's the only changes that you have to make in order for this letter to be customized to be changed so now in here the letter that has to appear is button we're going to quickly check that right now just to see okay we're going to hit play because i'm using because i'm showing you how the game is used in the second template i change it to the second map and in here is the game i already click on it in here because i left it at dhe by default it has dhe chosen in here and as you can see we have the word button that we added so we're going to hit the u the t it appears automatically the both and the o let's see here it is tada here's the word and as I explained to you, because if you are watching this video, it's because you already saw the other one. The letters, when clicking on them, gets disabled because we don't want the player to be able to click the same letter over and over again. Great. So this is the end of this video. I'm just going to show you right now how to customize, how to add your own words. In later videos, I'm going to show you the rest of it. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day or night. Please remember to give a like, comment, and subscribe so you know when I release new products. And if you would like to support me, I have my Patreon and PayPal on the description below. Okay, bye.